Here's a fun little circuit that I built here recently. It's called a bat bridge. Uh, it's uh, made by Lee Hart. Uh, it essentially tells you at a quick glance uh, if your battery pack is out of balance. Um, it's not doing it at a cell level or bet per battery level. What it's comparing is just the front part of the battery pack to the back part of the battery pack. So it essentially is uh, telling you in the middle of your battery pack which side it would be stronger or weaker than the other. Um, as you can see here on the schematic, uh, the, uh, this is the most positive lead here, this is the most negative down here, and the middle line is the tap in the center of the pack. Um, and uh, the resistive value is just to, to allow uh, 20 milliamps of, of flow through the resistors to uh, not blow any uh, shorts, you know, not causing any shorts in the system. Um, but uh, as the main lead comes across and out and through, it's going to light this green LED just to indicate that the system is on and depending on if the front half or the back half is weaker than the other it allows current to flow through one of these systems if they're balanced it essentially equates out and there's no real flow so neither light will light up so it takes a little bit of an imbalance to show um, the current uh, flowing either way um, but at a quick glance this is something you can visually see and uh, don't have to put any thought process into it to see if your battery pack is essentially balanced. Um, you can check it when it's uh, under load, when in, you're just sitting or charging at any time. You can turn this on and just see it at a quick glance without having to think about it. You don't need to know that one's at 67.2 or 67.5. I mean, they're close enough that it doesn't really matter. So, but at a quick glance, you can see they're both balanced. So, uh, right away you can. Uh, get some information without any thought process into it. So uh, this is the Lee Hart Bat Bridge. Uh, that's the, the basic circuit to, uh, design there. Uh, very simple. Two resistors. Uh, if you can tap in the exact center of the pack, you can have exactly the same resistive values. If you can't tap in the center of the pack, get maybe one battery off or one cell off. All you need to do is adjust the resistive values and it will get back into a, a balanced state uh, for either side, either direction. Um, so you can, you can adjust it so you, you can make it fit to anything you want. If you need to, you can uh, put in a, a pot and have a little turn dial knob to get really fine tuned adjustments, although you're not going to really have that much of a resolution. Um, maybe you play with the resistors a little bit more, you can get a little bit uh, better res resolution to get that a uh, little finer detail work, but um, it's really not needed. You want, you want to see in general how is the battery doing, uh, how, the battery pack in general. So. Um, this is the circuit design. I'm going to show you my little box I had done. Uh, I got that in the car now. Here we go. And I have, oh well, my light is not quite enough. But uh, I have just a little little project box here. There you go, pick it up a little bit better. I just have a switch at the bottom and I just turn the switch on. And you can see uh, the center light is just meaning that it's on, and this is showing me I have just a little bit more uh, uh, current or, or voltage on one side than the other. You can't really see the lower LED. There you go. Kind of see it right there. So it's just telling me I've got a little bit of an imbalance out. It uh, just means that the, it hasn't been enough time on the uh, power check modules to, to fully balance out the entire pack between the front and the back half. But you can see it's kind of going up and down. Uh, that tells me it's, if I can get it a little bit closer, it might actually pick it up as it gets a little dimmer, brighter, dimmer, brighter. So it's probably just the, the power check module shuttling power and slowly balancing that out. It's currently just on the last bit of the charge, uh, topping it off. The meter reads that it's at 100%, and the blinking light tells me it, it's uh, replaced all the, the amp hours and a little bit more. So it's just right at the end of the charge, so it's just barely flickering on and off. It's at night, so you can see it a little bit better. Um, during the daytime, you probably wouldn't barely be able to see that, but the green LED tells me it's on, and then whichever half of the side is stronger or weaker than the other. It's not something you have to have running all the time, It's but it's just handy little information that you can uh, see. Uh, I like to do a, a turn it on and do a heavy amp draw and just tell me on a heavy load how the pack is doing. Now, that wouldn't be uh, dependent on those little power check modules, so it gives me a quick glance under load how I'm doing. And the switch just cuts two of the leads at once. It's a double pull, double throw switch. So you can see I have three lines 
coming up here, maybe if the light picks it up just right. So just a little box and it uh, brings the power into that. Uh, the, on the opposite ends I do have fuses uh, to make it as safe as possible because you are bringing power into the cabin of the car. Some people don't like that so that's one thing to consider on this uh, since it is uh, main pack power uh, at this little junction box but uh, it's made of all plastic so um, I, I think it's pretty safe for what I'm doing for it and uh, they're also always tapped and, and fused so uh, I'm not too worried about it but uh, that's the what my little uh, bat bridge looks like and uh, just gives you a little bit of uh, information and peace of mind at a quick glance that uh, you don't have any major imbalances on your battery pack so a dim lit red LED means I've just got a tiny bit uh, on the charge but nothing to worry about there let us the batteries so that's uh, the Lee Hart bat bridge just a quick overview of that